Once a maroon, always a maroon. Hi, I'm Deb Zacker and I graduated in 74. And my greatest accomplishment, I guess, was probably just getting through high school. Hi, okay. Awesome. okay, there you go. I'm Mrs. Goldsmith and I graduated in 1974 and I was a pom-pom girl. Ah. I'm Debbie Rhodes, and my class was the first class to have girls' sports in uh, 1975. Um, my parents met in secret to go to the board, and we had homemade uniforms, and we got to travel the first time. And they also added softball for girls. Awesome. Hi, my name's Lynn Levins. I graduated from Clinton High School. I wasn't in sports or anything, but I did like school. Awesome. Hi, I'm Jody Turney. I graduated in 1988 and I was on the M squad for four years, captain for two years, and part of the first M squad team that got to compete at nationals in Florida. Awesome. Oh, no, here we go. All right, go ahead. My name is Kristen Reynolds. I graduated the class of 1997. One of my biggest accomplishments in high school was getting Spanish student of the year. Oh. Did you know that I went to college to be a Spanish teacher? Well, looks like I made the right choice because I love PE. <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm Kristen Wilson. I graduated in 1999 and I was voted athlete of the career placed fifth in the state for a triple jump. Awesome. I'm Abby DeLeon. I graduated in 2001 and my graduating class voted me most changed. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Kristen Hoyt. I graduated in 2003, and I don't really have any great accomplishments, but I loved high school. I had a great time. And you played basketball. I did play basketball. Here's the this. this That's is my, right. This is my basketball jacket. There you go. I'm Derek Sacker. I graduated in 2004, um, and I worked part-time and did not much else. Okay, but you graduated. I did. Okay. All right. My name is Courtney Williamson. I graduated in 2005, and I had good grades in high school. There you go. I'm Taylor Patterson. I am the class of 2011 from Clinton High School, and um, I attended the vocational school for culinary arts my junior and senior year. Awesome! Hi, I'm Dallin Howard. I graduated in 2012, and I'm junior high. I went to state for track. Awesome! All right. Hi, I am Jesse Scott, and I graduated in 2013, and I graduated with a 4.0. Awesome. That's great. One, two, Three. Class of 30. Good job. All right, Cheyenne, quick question. So in the future, when you are in high school, who do you think in your whole fifth grade class right now, when they become in high school, who do you think would be voted the class clown? Um, probably Keegan. Keegan? Okay. All right, Keegan. So right now you're in fifth grade, but in the future, when you get to high school, who do you think in this grade is going to be voted as the class clown? Um, the funniest, craziest person as the class clown. Who do you think in all? Bryson. Bryson. Ash. Okay. Okay, Bryson. In this whole fifth grade, in the future, when you get to high school, who do you think is going to be voted class clown? Soka. Okay. All right, Gabriel, in the future, who do you think will be most likely voted to become president one day? Uh, Emerson? Hey, Emerson, in the future, when you are in high school, who do you think will be voted best dressed person? Can you think of any girl that's like the best dressed in your grade that might be voted best dressed? Sage. Sage Williamson? Okay. All right, Sage. Who in fifth grade right now, when they are in the future in high school, who do you think will be most likely voted the, the best to succeed, the most to succeed. That means like best grades you think could do, maybe because of, become a boss someday. Probably like Carrie or someone. Carrie? 
Okay. Okay, so Miss Carrie, right now you're in fifth grade, but in high school, who do you think will be voted most likely to become a farmer? Braden Miller. All right. All right, Mr. Braden Miller. In the future, in high school, who do you think will be voted best dressed as far as boys go? Best hair, best dressed. William? William Lindsay. All right, he's got pretty good haircut right now. You think he's gonna keep it all the way through high school? Yeah, probably. Okay, probably. All right, Charlie. In fifth grade right now, of course we got a lot of people. Yeah. But in the future in high school, who do you think will be most likely voted the best athlete as far as girls go? Uh, girls? Yeah, best athlete. Sage. Sage Williamson? Yeah. You think she's a good athlete? Yeah, it's, it was between Sage, Kate, Ashley, Emerson. I don't know, there's a lot of them. But there, there's a lot of them. There's a lot. Okay, That's, all right, thanks. This is the one that came to mind. Okay. Thank you. Smile? Matai. Hmm? Matai. Yeah. In all the fifth grade right now, think of all the boys that are in fifth grade. Mm -hmm. In the future, who do you think will be most likely voted the best athlete? Um, probably Trip. Trip? All, all right. right. Trip. You yeah. can do whatever you want. All, all right. right. Trip. Right now you're in fifth grade. But in the future, in all of the fifth grade students, who do you think will become famous one day? Like everybody, out of everybody. Out of everybody. I so. think Keegan's gonna become the president one day. Keegan. Uh, what's your last name, Keegan? Reese? Reese. Yes. Reese. Okay, you think Keegan Reese is gonna become president one yeah, day? Uh -huh. Because why? Because he's he uh, loves history and he knows a lot about it. And oh. A bunch about taxes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, Three. Class of 31. One, two, Class three. Class of 32. One, two, three. Class of 